Oh wow, there's some sort of strange, strange boat looking thing over there. I think you can actually go this like, uh, it can also swim and drive around. I've seen those in Australia actually. Market, Malacca. But everything seems to be closed right now, sadly. So we probably should just look around and maybe nighttime we explore these kind of areas. But because right today is the first day of Raya, to, like everything seems to be really closed. Because I think people are people went home to celebrate the Raya or to their Kampung or wherever. Kampung is a village. This house is really narrow. Such a strange building. Right? Right. Right. What we've noticed so far is that Malacca is quite quiet. It could be the Raya. We're not quite sure about this, but for me it gives a little bit of Kuching vibes because it's Kuching was also a really quiet place and also had the river in the middle. So yeah, kind of similar in that way. But yeah, like some spots over here are actually very cheap. Yeah. It, like if you go to the Junkers, it's more expensive. Yeah, Chonga Street is like really expensive. Like if you if you go there, expect to pay like I don't know double more the than price. Per meal. Yeah, easily. Like I mean, there were some options that you could get like around ten, but uh, yeah. But over here, like in the kind of local areas, the food is actually really well priced. So that's good. We ordered a chum without ice, but chum is a tea mixture with tea with coffee. But actually, this looks like only coffee, right? It's like maybe chum. Try it. Hot. It's not. It's not hot. Yeah. It feels I'm a little bit chumish. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. I, I, I think it's chum. Yeah. Yeah, we just had a little stop here before we possibly gonna go to Island, Malacca Island, but the weather looks so strange right now. It looks so windy and it's gonna rain soon. Let's see. This street looks so empty. Wow. Such an empty street. But it's hard to know. Is it normal or not? Maybe it's not because today is the first day of Raya. Raya. So people are probably in their hometown celebrating Raya. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe tomorrow will be more. Um, alive tomorrow yeah so we're making our way to the island right now and we're crossing a bridge and there's some sort of funny it doesn't even look like a river it looks like mangroves or something like that or it's or it's just extremely dry right now on the other side it actually looks more like a river but like a very dry river yeah and we can see there is a sea behind there as well so we're getting closer to the sea and the weather is really funny like it looks like it's gonna rain possibly it's gonna be a bad spot where to be stranded when it's raining but uh, the worst case scenario we we get a taxi and it seems like they are developing this area over here they have some excavators out there and yeah, and this, this thing is getting built as well, I think, or it's abandoned. Do you think it's abandoned or they're building it right now? It looks abandoned, kind of, right? Kind of looks like an abandoned project over here. But, but you know, this kind of reminds some sort of Dubai, like where they build those kind of fake islands. And this is possibly actually a fake island as well, right? I that actually makes that. sense. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. 
because we saw there were like some big piles of sand or gravel or something maybe they are like trying to create those fake islands over here as well yeah this is really like dubai like kind of kind of project what they have going on over there yeah interesting interesting but but we've been walking <laughs> that's a funny sounding car be actually good to get a bicycle we I think we would have been better with bicycles but we didn't and I'm not sure if it's too late now it's like 20 ringgits per day to get a bicycle the cheaper ones Wow that actually looks pretty fancy what they're trying to do over here Melaka International Cruise Terminal Wow this looks pretty fancy but seems to be the project is slowing down because this is abandoned building it looks to me it's a pretty looking mosque over here but we can't go in because we're not appropriately clothed ah well okay i think we actually cannot go in here because it's because uh, it's not open for the visitors yeah so let's go so we found a spot over here where we can actually see the sea <laughs> this is like it seems like a lot of yeah there's like a lot of people over there as well and there's a mosque next to us and we had to buy those drinks to get in here so five five ringgit each, five ringgit each. and that, that mosque is actually beautiful it's a very beautiful mosque over here this is the mosque view viewpoint little pier but like this place looks like th like a lot of abandoned projects over here yeah it's like everywhere like this one as well it looks like really doesn't look like anything is going on over here it's just like some sort of abandoned projects everywhere i don't know what have happened here this place has so much potential here like that would be that would be amazing but but like all those projects are just abandoned because I think there's not enough tourists to sustain it or yeah but yeah look at the view that view on the mosque but it's only permitted for Muslims I think right now so. Wait, that's the sand pile right there yeah those are the sand piles in the back that's I think those those are the projects what they're doing to try to maybe create those sort of fake islands kind of Dubai style Malacca is beautiful and did you, you say that it's actually similar to Penang a yeah bit? low key a little bit of Penang vibes yep hmm. how long did you stay in Penang like two years two years yeah wow okay didn't know that long. Wow, it's crazy. You're almost local. Yep. <laughs> What's your favorite spot in Benang? Georgetown, of course. Georgetown. Yeah. You can sit here and look the mosque. <laughs> this has to be the most expensive little soda can I've ever bought in Malaysia. It's actually pretty good and the views are worth it, so not bad, not bad. Pua Kundur. It's actually pretty lovely weather today. It's um, slightly cloudy, but it feels good, you know, it's not too hot. But you still sweat a little bit, but not too badly. And it looks like it's gonna rain every second, but, but it's not raining, so it's good. We're probably gonna have the walk back to the Malacca city center area. It's quite a long walk, but you know, we're probably gonna find some restaurants while we walk back. 
we're gonna just jump into a random one and probably try to add some betas today and yeah conclude our video and our impressions of Malacca. Look at this thing going into the water. Tuck tours. Ah it's the same. The same in Australia it's the same some sort of tuck tuck kind of name for some reason. <laughs> it's pretty cool actually. Just just drives into the water and now it's a boat. Wow, that's pretty cool. Can you actually eat mudskipper? Oh my god, the Asian girl wants to eat everything. Wow. It's actually pretty cool to see mudskippers over there. I've never seen them before and there's quite many of them here. They're like going around everywhere. <laughs> Look at them swimming. And they go on top of those, on that mud or sand or whatever that is. Wow, so cool. We're back in the mang mangrove area. There's water on this side. Yep. Have you seen mud skippers before? No, this is actually the first time. Wow, cool. Let's go. We found this My Healthy Cafe, so we already got our tables inside and they have some sort of Thai food over here and also they have the Nyoya Laksa, which is interesting, that's what, probably what we want to try. Nazi Lemak as well, that's good. Uh, so, we're gonna be checking out their food. We already got the seats inside, I'm just showing you the restaurant. Thank you, thank you very much. And our table is here actually. What a nice atmosphere over here. Wow, those are fancy, fancy chairs. And our men menu is already. And I think we're gonna fill that order paper over here and yeah, good to go. That background over here is so cool. Cut a lot of background. One of that. New Year Alexa. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. So what are you gonna go? Uh, what's the Kula Melaka? Palm sugar. Palm sugar. I think we should go for this one. Yep. So, but we can order that later because otherwise it's gonna melt. Mm -hmm. So we got our Pineapple juice, nasi lemak, unlimited. Sambal. Sambal, crazy. I mean, not unlimited. There's a limit in that little jar, but I think it's enough. That looks good. That looks really good. And it smells good too. Oh my God. Smells good too. Wow. And what else? We have some sort of Thai dish as well. Rice noodle. Rice noodle. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. Not nauseous anymore. Yeah, she was nauseous. She was probably nauseous because I see your face too often. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. They have like crazy blue light above us. Okay, let's... We're gonna wait the rest of the food. Can I try the pineapple juice? I wanna sample that. Wow, that's good, so good. Fresh, freshly squeezed pineapple juice, so good. So sweet, but naturally sweet. I don't think they put any sugar in here. I think it's just pineapple, right? You think as well? Put this sambal on the... Plate. And it, it smells really good actually, like oniony. The symbol is oniony. Okay, I used the spoon, guys. Spoon, look. I use spoon for eating rice. I've been getting a lot of comments that I should use spoon. Really? Yes. Okay, put that aside. Let me take some but, pictures. But I'm, I'm from Europe, so I like to use my fork as well, maybe for some other stuff. Time to dig in. So many different foods to try. This is some sort of um, noodle dish with 
veggies and egg, I, it looks like. That's from the Thai, Thai section. And we got a nasi lemak, Malaysian. I'm gonna try this one. Wow, so good. So good and creamy. Ooh. Really nice, really nice. Looks so good. This is the noodle dish and the nasi lemak. What do you think? How does it taste? It tastes good. Good, yeah. yeah. Let's try the noodle. Ooh. It's a lot of noodle. Hmm. You know what's funny? This is cold. This noodle dish is actually cold dish. Yeah. It has a lot of garlic. I love that. Sorry. Didn't expect it to be cold, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah, quite surprised. But yeah, the first day in Malacca is going good. The food is amazing here. Nice I like it, yeah. The sambal seems to have like oniony taste. I love that. Garlic and onion is my, my flavors. I love them. Hot, very hard to eat. But this is spicy as well. You feel a little bit spice? No. No? Okay, I feel a little bit. Not much, but just a bit. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is the chendol. Looks very nice actually. It's really cute. Yes, like me. Oh, we're getting actually pretty full over here, and we almost ordered one more dish, which because there were a lot of interesting dishes that we wanted to go for. So, yeah, and when you're hungry, you think you can eat more, but yeah, actually we're getting pretty full because the laksa was so creamy and rich, and same is the nasi lemak is really kind of rich food. What is this? <laughs> you didn't even take anything. Okay. Cheers guys. The uh, gulam laksa makes it really good. Yeah, gulam. Yeah, the coconut palm, su uh, palm sugar. Makes it nice. Wow, so good. The spoon is so cute too, so small. But what's the creamy thing? Like um, coconut, some I sort of... Evapor evaporated milk? Evaporated milk. But we're almost done here. What would you rate it? Um. You put you on the spot here. Ten out of ten. No, <laughs> come on. Ten? Wow, okay. She must really like it then. Ten out of ten. Wow. I'd say it's a good strong eight. I mean, it's good, it's good, good stuff. The palm sugar is makes it nice. Mm -hmm. We came to the karaoke place. <laughs> Come on, sing Priscilla. Priscilla is gonna sing to us. ASMR.
ASMR. Okay. Interesting. Gonna be chilling here for one hour. One hour. One hour later. How it works over here is uh, we just like rent a room for one hour and it costs 29 ringgits. But I can't record much over here because there's music all around us, so it would cause copyright issues on my channel. And they can't record us singing neither, that's why. Which is sad, but it's okay. So yeah, see you later. We found a cool ship over here, which is actually a museum, but it's closed right now. But still looks cool. Right. And we're exploring the streets of Malacca. It's already dark. There's a lot of people actually now. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but a little bit. But there's something over there as well. What is there? Is it a river? Maybe. Let's see. This is some sort of river. Maybe we can go to the riverside from here. Casa de Casa del Rio over there. That's Casa del Rio. That, that's like Spanish, right? Casa del Rio. Yeah. Casa is house. That spot is super cool. The guy that has all kind of magic with the coconut. That's <laughs> coconut. That is. Yeah, that's like the white part of the coconut that's inside. <laughs> the juice is splashing out or the coconut water rather coconut shake yeah it looks like it but i don't know so we are actually after the coconut shake over here but we're not quite sure if you can find it here or not and it's super crowded way more crowded she said it's coconut shake coconut shake yeah she mentioned it Okay, so we're gonna be trying that. Okay, let's go back. Coconut shake? Okay. How much is one? Five ringgit. Five ringgit one. Uh, we take one each? Or we share? Maybe two. Sure. How do you feel? Okay, let's share. Maybe just one for now. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. There we go, we got it. Yeah, really cool place. Oh wow, you found a spot. That's a good spot you found. Let's try this thing out. Let's see how it tastes like. Okay, let me try. Wow. I should eat it with ice cream. They have ice cream as well, coconut ice cream. I was thinking, what is this over here? I was thinking, is it like coconut or is it like ice cream? It's vanilla ice cream, I think. It's good. Wow. You gotta try this one. Five ringgit. You'll, you'll see the spot where to buy it. You know, the guys are throwing the coconuts into the air. That's the spot. <laughs> Super recommended, really good so delicious that's definitely a high rating 10 out of 10 mm. what a view in the back such a cool cool place over here they have a lot of uh, neon lights over here in this place in Malacca which is cool mm. I love the night life here wow <laughs> So we bought the chendol, Turian chendol, and it actually looks really good. Wow, it smells so good. How is it? I think I only tasted the durian. Okay. Let me try the whole thing. Oh my god, that looks so good. Uh, that cost uh, 10 ringgit by the way. So that's 10 ringgit. Let me try that.
Yeah. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Can you give me one spoon? With some durian on it as well. Is that the durian? I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, let's try. But like the sugar is kind of bitter. That's that's the bomb. So good value as well for durian durian chendol. Usually everything with durian costs a lot of money, so getting that for ten ringgit is actually a steal. You know, feels really good to get this for this price. Highly recommended as well. Uh, the shop name is Madame Yap. Madame Yap. It's uh, near the coconut stall when where they are throwing those coconuts in there. So nearby you can buy that coconut, uh, the durian chendol. So good. Can I have more? Mm. So good. So good. A little bit bittery, like it's kind of like kind of weird a little bit, but but, but it's fine. But it's good. But like ten ringgit for durian chendol. Pretty good. That's good. I never seen so cheap durian chendol. Usually costs around fifteen ringgit. Yeah, fifteen the lowest I've seen before. Really good, really good. 